What's happening, y'all? It's your boy, SnakeB69. And tomorrow, Toronto Raptors basketball is fucking back, baby. The return of Toronto Raptors basketball. And it's 7.30 Eastern time. Well, it's 5.30 my time. In the time zone that I live in, it's 5.30. But 7.30 Eastern time. And... It's a home game against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, looking at both teams from last year, they both finished with almost identical records. We finished 41-41 last year and, and as the ninth seed in the Eastern Conference. And the Timberwolves finished 42-40 and 40 as the eighth seed in the Western Conference. And... They made the playoffs, but got bounced immediately by the eventual NBA champion Denver Nuggets in five games. Us, on the other hand, we made the play-in, but we got bounced immediately by the Chicago Bulls. And as a result, we missed the playoffs. And as a result, we fired Nick Nurse, and we have a new head coach, Darko Rajakovic, of course, I never even heard of him the moment we hired him, but I'm willing to give him a chance because he's new. He's a first-year head coach, so I'm willing to give him a chance. So, yeah. But anyways, let's talk about the home record from last year for the Raptors and the road record. Last year, we were a pretty good home team, 27-14. and 14. And on the road, complete opposite, 14-27. and 27. And I feel like the reason we missed the playoffs last year was because we peaked at the wrong time. We peaked a little too late. If we peaked a little earlier, we definitely would have made the playoffs. Of course, six-game losing streak last December. <laughs> that was pretty much the nail in the coffin. Even though it was December, it was pretty much the nail in the coffin. Because we were we were just we just barely missed the playoffs. Just barely. Of course, Fred Van Vliet is gone, and we have Dennis Schroeder. We did keep Jakob Pertl. We still got Scotty. We still got Pascal. We still got OG. So, we still got a pretty good starting lineup. And, of course, we made a few bench additions. We drafted Grady Dick, who's a really good shooter for his size. So, yeah. I think with this improved bench and... Still almost the same starting lineup minus Fred Van Vliet. I think this team is a real sleeper team. I think the Raptors have a real shot at finishing like 43-39 and 39 this year. I've heard they did really good in the preseason. I know they went undefeated in the preseason, but that's just preseason. And I've heard Pascal and Scotty did really good in the preseason, especially Scotty. But like I said, that's just preseason. We need that shit to carry into the regular season. But anyways, if I had to come up with a prediction for this game... It's a home game, so I got Toronto winning by a score of 123 to 109. But yeah, we'll just have to see. I mean, Minnesota is a very talented team. And, of course, they're both playing teams. But yeah, Minnesota's a talented team. Toronto's got some talent too. And we'll just have to see what happens in this new 2023-24 NBA season. But anyways... It's your boy, SnakeB69, checking the fuck on out of here. Let's go Raptors!